Good day, young entrepreneurs! This is teacher William Elio, or Swerwi, your accounting instructor. Welcome to Quarter 3, Module 3 of Fundamentals of Accountancy, Business and Management 1. Are you ready for a new lesson? Before we start, let's have a short prayer. Let us all bow our head and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we we'll thank you. Help us to focus our heart and mind now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen, watch, and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the word around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, let's have our instruction for watching this video lesson. Find a quiet place which is free from any distractions. Refer your module in Pub M1, Quarter 3, Module 3, Paper and Ball Pen. Read the instruction carefully before doing each task. Enjoy learning! Our objective for today. Identify what is asset, liability, and owner's equity. Illustrate the accounting equation. And last, perform equations involving simple cases with the use of the accounting equation. Now, let's have our pretest. It is a multiple choice. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your paper. For number one, is a resource with economic value that a business owns or controls with the expectation that it will provide a future benefit. Is it letter A, accounting equation, letter B, asset, letter C, liability, or D, owner's equity? For number two, is something a person or company owes, usually a sum of money recorded on the right side of the balance sheet, include loans, accounts payable, mortgage, deferred revenues, bonds, warranties, and accrued expenses. Is it A, accounting equation, B, asset, C, liability, D, owner's equity. For number three, is defined as the proportion of the total value of a company's asset that can be claimed by its owners. Is it letter A, accounting equation, or letter B, asset, letter C, liability, or D, owner's equity? For number four, which of the following equations is the fundamental accounting equation? Letter A, assets minus liabilities is equals to owner's equity. Letter B, assets is equals to liabilities plus owner's equity. Letter C, assets plus liabilities is equals to owner's equity. For letter D, assets plus owner's equity is equals to liability. For number 5, if the owner's equity is 210,000 pesos and the liability is 440,000 pesos, what is the amount of asset? Is it letter A, 210,000 pesos? Letter B, 230,000 pesos? Letter C, 440,000 pesos? Or letter D, 650,000 pesos? Now, let's check your answer. For number one, the correct answer is B, asset. For number two, the correct answer is C, liability. For number three, the correct answer is letter D, owner's equity. For number four, the correct answer is letter B, asset is equals to liabilities plus owner's equity. 
And for number 5, the correct answer is letter D, 650,000 pesos. Congratulations! We're done with our pre-test. Now, let's review our previous lesson. What do you learn about accounting concepts? Very good! They are man-made laws used as guides and rules in accounting. They are also known as the Generally Accepted Accounting Principles or GAAP. Let's play Spin a Wheel. For our mechanics, inside the wheel are different accounts. We will spin the wheel, identify the account pointed by the wheel, and identify if it is under asset, liability, or owner's equity. Are you ready? Let's play Spin a Wheel. For our first account, Drawing, how will you identify drawing? Is it an asset, liability, or owner's equity? Very good! It is owner's equity. Next pin. Okay, our next account is land. How will you identify land? Very good. It is part of an asset. Let's spin again. Next we have accounts payable. How will you identify accounts payable? Very good. It is under liability. You are doing great. Let's spin it again for one last time. Our next account is cash. How will you identify cash? Very good. It is under asset. Congratulations. You get all the correct answer. Did you enjoy our game? Great. Nice to hear that. What do you observe about our game spin a wheel? Yes, very good. It's all about identifying accounts like asset, liability, and owner's equity. Because our topic for today involves asset, liability, and owner's equity. And it's all about accounting equation. Accounting equation is asset equals to liability plus owner's equity. The accounting equation exposes that assets must equal to the sum of liabilities and owner's equity. The equal sign in the equation ensures balance of movement in the three main accounts being used in accounting. In accounting equation, we have three accounts. First, we have the asset. These are the resources owned by the company like money, inventories, building, lands, and all the things owned by the company which has economic value. Second, we have the liabilities. These are the things owned by the company like loans and purchases on account basis. Third is the owner's equity, the ownership of the investment coming through the pocket of the owner. Accounting equation must be balanced all the time because it serves as the backbone of the entire accounting cycle and financial reporting system. For our activity for today, it's all about case study. Maricar Adriano, the owner of Lugal Essential Restaurant, reported her business assets and liabilities during its first year of operation. These are the following. Cash, 90,000 pesos. Tables and chairs, 20,000 pesos. Cooking utensils, 120,000 pesos. Egg cutter, 40,000 pesos. Equipment, 70,000 pesos. Supplies, 35,000 pesos. Cash borrowed from a bank, 100,000 pesos. Cash borrowed from a friend, 30,000 pesos. For our requirements, number one, list all the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity or capital on the table below. Write the total assets, liabilities, owner's equity in the accounting equation for the purpose of answering this activity, you may pause this video and play it again when you are done. Now, 
Let's check your answer. For assets, we have cash, 90,000 pesos. Tables and chairs, 20,000 pesos. Cooking utensils, 120,000 pesos. Egg cutter, 40,000 pesos. Equipment, 70,000 pesos. Supplies, 35,000 pesos. Total assets, we have 375,000 pesos. Liabilities, cash borrowed from bank, 100,000 pesos. Cash borrowed from a friend, 30,000 pesos. Total liabilities, 130,000 pesos. And applying the accounting equation, assets less liabilities is equals to owner's equity amounting to 245,000 pesos. Congratulations! You did a great job on your activity. The accounting equation exposes that asset must equal the sum of liabilities and owner's equity. The equal sign in the equation ensures balance of movement in the three main accounts being used in accounting. Accounting equation should be balanced all the time because it serves as the backbone of the entire accounting cycle and financial reporting system. Being knowledgeable in accounting equation will help you a lot especially for ABM students like you whose dream is to become a certified public accountant or entrepreneur someday. It helps you in recording and balancing your business transaction properly. Now, let's proceed for your evaluation. It is a multiple choice choosing the letter of the correct answer and write it on your paper. For number one, is something a person or company owes, usually a sum of money, recorded on the right side of the balance sheet, includes loans, accounts payable, mortgage, deferred revenues, bonds, warranties, and accrued expenses. Is it letter A, accounting equation, letter B, asset, letter C, liability, or D, owner's equity? Part number two, is a resource with economic value that a business owns or controls with expectation that it will be provide a future benefit? Is it letter A, accounting equation, letter B, asset, letter C, liability, or letter D, owner's equity? Part number three, which of the following equation is the fundamental accounting equation? For letter A, Assets minus liabilities is equals to owner's equity. For letter B, asset is equals to liabilities plus owner's equity. For letter C, assets plus liabilities is equals to owner's equity. For letter D, asset plus owner's equity is equals to liabilities. For number four, is defined as the proportion of the total value of a company's asset that can be claimed by its owners. Is it A, accounting equation, letter B, asset, letter C, liability, or letter D, owner's equity? For number five, if the owner's equity is 210,000 pesos and the liability is 440,000 pesos, what is the amount of asset? Is it letter A, 210,000 pesos? Letter B, 230,000 pesos? Letter C, 440,000 pesos? Or letter D, 650,000 pesos? Now, let's check your answer. For number one, the correct answer is letter C, liability. For number two, the correct answer is letter B, asset. For number three, the correct answer is letter B, assets is equals to liability plus owner's equity. For number four, the correct answer is letter D, owner's equity. And for number five, the correct answer is letter D, 650,000 pesos. Congratulations! You did a great job! And for the last part of our lesson, share our real-life experiences that are, in a certain extent, 
related to basic accounting equation for a total of 20 points. For our rubrics, criteria and indicators, quality of answer, and sentence fluency. Outstanding 5 points, the answer demonstrate full understanding of the concept, sentence are complete and they connect to one another easily. Satisfactory 3 points, the answer shows educate knowledge of concept with a few details or elaboration. Sentence are complete and able to be understood. Needs improvement 1 point, the answer shows little knowledge of the concept with no detail or elaboration. Sentence are incomplete or too long and not easily understood. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for listening. Again, this is Sir Week. Keep safe and have a great day.